Hello blokes and blow cats. Welcome to the official, I guess, announcement video and kind of little addition, I guess, to the Virus Bloke 2 playthrough. I guess I'll probably put it in that playlist. Um, official announcement of the release of Virus Bloke 2 version 1.2. Lots of changes have happened. Um, included with the game is a patch list. Uh, a list of patch notes, basically, of all the things that have changed. Um, I also made an announcement of it on Facebook and stuff. So, uh, without further ado, as they say, I'm going to record some of the game, because I need to play through it again to test it. So, I may as well preview a few of the little changes and additions. Obviously, spoiler warning, if you want to go into the update not knowing what's changed and stuff, don't watch this, but I'm going to show you some of the stuff. And of course, I forgot to mention somehow, uh, if if you want to download the new Virus Bloke 2, um, look in the video description below, or wherever it is by the time you're watching this. You never know when YouTube's going to move stuff around again. Uh, and you can find download links. So I hope you enjoy it. The uh, probably the best one is the Game Jolt one, but if you have a Google account, Google Drive is probably the most, the easiest one, and you can find all my other games there as well. Anyway, enjoy some of the bigger things, and right off the bat, before the game gets started, there is something very important that you must know. For some people, the animated movie cutscene things will cause the game to crash for some strange reason. Because of this, you will be given the option to have either animated cutscenes or in-game cutscenes. That was the main reason I was making this patch in the first place. So, you may as well try the animated ones first, but if they cause problems, simply start over and choose the other option. Now then, which would you like? We're going to go with in-game cutscenes. Okay, sorry if the animated ones didn't work for you. Silly compatibility issues, probably. Anyway, have fun! Oh, I will. A non-animated intro. If you remember, if you're familiar with the the original game, you can probably tell how different this is. It's the same thing, but basically just using static pictures this time. The year is 2003. The millennium is long past, and the world is nice and peaceful. Lies. Yeah, we've seen all this, we've heard all this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, my name is Jim Lollipodge. I shall meet with Paul later, a lot later. Yep. Main menu, as usual. We'll do, we'll do 12 just because I've got to test it anyway, and we're going to do on easy, so I can just charge through the game, and uh, I'll see you when there's something new to see. For one little um, thing here, the achievement, Master Thief, which used to be steal all items in the game, has now changed to steal at least 28. I think 35 is the maximum amount maybe a bit more. But, um, that was the most annoying achievement to get since stealing was such a low chance to happen sometimes and um, there were so many of them and obviously a lot of the battles, the boss battles, if you don't steal from them then you can't steal from them until New Game Plus. So yeah, changed that. It's still probably maybe the hardest to get but yeah, a bit easier now. I also increased the chance of stealing in general. So thank me for that, yes! The cutscene that starts it all. Discovering the Microsoft building. Obviously not quite as epic. But it works. What the hell is Microsoft doing on my street? That's it. Time to pay Bill Gates a visit. Yep. Yeah. I might as well keep recording for now. 
So I can show you something very special indeed. I'll just skip through all this, we've seen it before. You see, and not only did I make a lot of fixes and stuff, I went the extra mile and added. <gasps> what did I add? I mean, it's not too special. It's not a huge interesting area. Come on. But I added a thing. Oh. Come on. <gasps> oh no. Oh no. Okay. Well, that was weird. Uh oh, there's now walls, so you can't just duck into the side and make the horse stand around forever. There's no escape now. No! No, let me out! Uh... Okay, now... Hmm, nothing new here. <gasps> there's a new portal! Ah. Let's have a look. Oh dear! Oh yeah, all this. You know, the usual. Let's have a look in this new area, shall we? Obviously spoilers if you don't want to know what's in here. You'll have to stop the video or skip. <gasps> what, the naff bombs? What strange and unnatural thing is going on in here? Oh, hi there! Glad you could come, I needed testers. Who are you, and what the mouldy fudge is going on in this particular realm? Oh, thank you for showing an interest in my creation! This is my pride and joy. This is one of many rooms that I have created in this secret underground facility. Not so secret now, is it? Oh, you're right. Oh well, anyway... You see, if any living being enters this chamber, clones of them are made. What? How dare you make something that steals my likeness? Oh no, don't worry. As soon as you leave, they will cease to exist. That's okay then, so like, what's the point? Yes, well, it's to help people who are lost and confused find a new path in life. Each clone has a different lifestyle to help you feel motivated to change. Sounds boring. Lost interest now. See ya. But what? Well, flump, flump. Yeah, so that's the new area. I hope you enjoyed it. Clone chamber. Now let's go back in. Uh. Oh, you've returned. Thank you for giving my ingenious clone chamber another chance. What? Hi. No, bye. Well then. It might look a bit empty, really. But, as you might guess, as he said, any living being that enters this room has clones made. I'm the only one in the party right now. So, maybe we'll come back later. Until then, I'll see you later. And we're back in the Microsoft building. Uh, now we've got Ewan and Ayla, so... I'm not going to show you what happens when you have Mark and Clive. <clears throat> I'll leave some things for you to find. But let's have a look. Oh yes, now there's Mar now there's Ewan's and Ayla's. Which one's the real one? Let's have a look around. Hey me, looking good. What? Go away, I'm busy making my latest masterpiece of a game. Hey, so much of clones living different lifestyles. I could get along with me. So, what game is it? The Geezer Adventure 3, Smash and Crash Arena, Adventures of Pie Lord? No, you idiot, those were finished years ago. You idiot? Don't you mean me, idiot? Wait, no. Something. Gosh, shut up! If you must know, I'm making the final boss of Virus Bloke 7. Oh, how very skill of you. I mean me. I mean the you me. Gosh. I'm better than me. Oh, look what clone me has made with all his game-making skill and efficiency. Call of Virus Bloke Digital Warfare. Correction, Digital Warfare 9. Nine of them already? How do you have the time? Oh, you know, by actually working on my games instead of being so lazy. It also helps that each new one in the series is 90% the same as the previous one. Oh, oh, shots fired. Yeah. He's just 
too good. Hey me, just take a nice little break. Hmm? Oh, hello there old chap. No, no breaks for me, my brain is working hard. Oh, just when I thought you were a cool me. I have no time for cool, my dear boy. Life, the universe, and everything must be solved, and I shall be the one. Oh god, no, who are you? Who are you? I'm out of here. Yeah, man. Let's not talk to everyone. What is he doing? What are you doing, other me? Yeah, push it. One, two, three. If you want to be a clone of me, stop being so not lazy. Hey, man, you know what they say? Lose the fat, get some cat. What? What does that even mean? Hi there. You're the only normal looking you in here, so you must be the real one. Huh? Oh yeah, that's me. Okay, good. It would be r weird if you really became virtual. I reckon it would be pretty cool, actually. True. Maybe someday. Oh, oh. Oh, I wonder whose clones would stand around this particular table. Alright. Hey, Ayla. Hello there, I am Ayla. Do you have business with me, or are you just here to witness my beauty? Yeah, I'm mostly just doing lots of witnessing. Worship me, and perhaps I shall permit you to be a loyal slave to me. Maybe later. I don't have time for that right now. Yeah. So, if it, people might think, wait, you haven't got Mark yet. Why are you talking about Mark as if you already know him? Well, obviously, in lore, we've all been friends for a while. So I'm referencing Mark before we know him. But yeah, that's enough of that. See you next time there's something good and new. This was good. Here we are heading up to the next floor. And as we know, the first area is the Trading Star Grounds. But what of the cutscene at the start of it? Oh, this is one of the more interesting ones. Oh, look. An in-game version of it. Welcome to the Trading Star Grounds. Before you enter, you must present one of the following. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know how it goes. Okay, let me just see here. Uh, well, darn it, I must have left it in my other trousers. Yeah, it's basically just an in-game version of the same cutscene. So yeah, that's about that. That's about it for that. I won't show you the version when you get here with the ID card. Gotta leave some surprises! Here in Annoying Music Central, I'm sorry, but um... So the whole game... I've added unique interactions to all the bookshelves. Let's all be happy. Just a bunch of boring books. I like Jim. The Point of Life. Yeah. So now there's a reason to look at all the bookshelves. The Mystical Plonkfish. Taste the rainbow. Hair. Yep. More good stuff. Ah, it's been quite a while, so here we are now at, well, you know what bit of this is. Just to show the uh, in-game cutscene version. I wanted to show the version of when you run into the pillars in front of Wobland, but I I guess I just decided not to. Here we go. I almost forgot to do this. I was just testing and then I was like, oh god, I forgot this one. Yeah. You don't get to hear as much of the music. But oh well. <gasps> Whoa! There we go. And here we are. In Wooden Gear Liquid. I don't know what the next bit will be that I'll record. But, see you then. Here we are in the Microsoft Network. These have changed appearance somewhat. It's not a not a huge thing that's really worth showing off in the video, but just thought I'd show it. Now it's more obvious and clear where they are. Ah, uh, here we are in Chocobo Village. Hmm. Everyone remembers what happens down here, don't they? This place looks pretty empty. Oh. oh. 
hell's going on? Isn't there supposed to be a cutscene? <gasps> oh! Whoa, whoa! Not much has changed with this, but I did give slightly more time between strikes. Both on easy and normal. Because sometimes it was just a little bit too close. I wanted to cut down the requirement for perfection a little bit, you know? So yeah, not a huge change. I still feel like I would like to change this a bit more, but eh. This is such a big thing, it'll take quite a lot of effort. And it's not that bad. Oh look, who would find that in this stupid map? Oh, here we are in the Enterprise. A lot of people might not have um, might not have bothered listening to the audio logs of this in here. That it used to be um, after you finish every new area, uh, there would be a new log to listen to. But now I've just replaced it with one log because it was a waste of space and. It, it was just pointless and the logs weren't anything interesting or worth listening to. So it's just one. <clears throat> Captain's log, stardate uh, uh, 69. Of course. <laughs> this is so like, uh, this is a computer. My computer. All mine. Oh uh, yeah. I wonder what kind of internet speed I can get on in space. Subtitles now. Like. Subtitles for audio logs. Mm. Oh, oh, I get zero ping in all online games and services, no matter where they are in the world. Oh. That's pretty cool. Uh, oh, I can also download things at 2,000 gigabytes a second. Oh, okay. I wish. There we go, I've downloaded all the games in the world now, and they even fit on the hard drive. It wouldn't be that fast. Uh, oh, it has 6 billion terabytes free. Cool. Well... Oh, this is this is just too amazing, I'm afraid. No, no, I'm sorry. I just can't quite handle it. I'm just gonna have to end this log now before I lose my mind. See ya. Oh. Oh. Tips for successful toileting in space. These books are more interesting now because they're from Pops. How to befriend aliens. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. The best space food. How to beat deadly space aliens that have lots of large teeth and claws. Spa the Adventures of Space Pie, the complete collection. Ah, one of the most annoying areas in the game. Possibly the most annoying. But... Oh, oh we've got a mini-map now. And that, that like red or orange square around one of the OACs is... Uh, the, the one with the portal in. Also, it, it is still only one single tree on normal difficulty, but we're on easy, so there's like a line of trees between each oasis, sort of pointing towards the nearest ones. Also, previously, you had to look in each individual tree to see if there was a coconut there. No, I don't know why coconuts are apparently growing in a desert. It's not the beach, or or Hawaii, or whatever. But, um, I'm not going to bother going to each one to get the stuff, it's just not worth it. But at least now, if you really want to, it's not a problem. Because you can see where they are. But you know what else you can see where it is? There it is up there. You can see it, just a little bit. That brown orb. Finally, I see a coconut. I guess I'll just kick this tree and it should fall right down here. Ow! Now I have a headache. At least I apparently fell in the water. Oh well, yeah, you were standing in the water. And uh, yeah, so now the desert is semi-enjoyable. And now for one of the biggest changes, and arguably the best. The monkey breaches. Ah, <sighs> if you did this before, remember the fun times of having to run back to this computer to open a new gate every time? Well, no, not anymore. Bing. Now you got a map. You can see where all the gates are. Bing. You can still find directions, but there's really no Bing. point. Because, when you talk to a Mariala, 
and get the uh, the, the basement keys and the escape door. She. Wait, I don't remember where I was going with that. Never mind. Oh yeah, she explains that. She explains this. <gasps> there's just a computer outside each one now. It even tells you if there's a breach in there or not. That's right, kids. You don't need to finish a room, use the escape door to go back to the computer, and then come all the way back down here again. You can just wander around, open each individual one, and if there's no breach in there, you don't even have to go in there if you don't want to. Oh, it's so good! It's still a bit of a confusing thing to explore these little dungeon things, but obviously a lot more bearable now. So I hope anyone who's a completionist appreciates it. Because <sighs> I certainly do. And I guess just to demonstrate, I just I just closed that breach. So let's go and have a look at the computer now. And no damage detected. Whew. Ah, very nice. But I do want to 100% this, so I'm going to explore every room. Or maybe... No, I'm not going to bother, actually. So yeah. Oh, I better go back to the computer and open the next gate. Uh, nope. No, no. <coughs> Lovely. Hmm, here we are, much later in the game. One of the final... or one of the... One of the last things to show. At least that I will be showing in this video. Is this. Maybe it wasn't so bad last time, but now... Now there are far less places the um, the card can be. There used to be like over 40 places. Cupboards and drawers. But now... There's roughly about 6 to 8 in a room, I think. Ah, oh, there we go already. I'll have a quick look in the other rooms anyway. Just so you can see. So this is a lot less annoying now. Yeah, eight in this one, six in that one above. And also, I may as well show you the next floor as well, because that also received some changes to make it a bit better, basically. Because previously, it was quite unclear of where was safe to hide. But now, after he goes past, this bit was fine. But now, down here, these were the trouble guys, but now there's nice little indents here. Nice safe area. Just to make it a bit more clear. Less trial and error. Or whatever. It wasn't trial and error, it just took a lot more observation before. Anyway. See you soon. Goodbye. Goodbye. Ah, the game is beaten once again. And what a, a memorable adventure it was, as always. As tedious as it was at times, it always feels so good to reach the end of it. I'm so proud of how it turned out. Now, of course, without the in-game cutscenes, you don't get to see the credits. But, yeah, thanks. Thanks, me. You can always go to the movie folder inside the Virus Bloke 2 game folder and watch the credits movie there. It's called vb2credits.avi. But yeah. Now, there's just one more thing I want to show in this patch. <gasps> Whoa! If you've seen After Game Land before, doesn't it look a bit different now? Yep. Now, instead of achievements unlocking specific doors, you get tokens for obtaining achievements. So, let's just save it here. Uh, here there, I guess. Of course, we've got the computer that tracks stats. The only thing that's changed here is the new portal has been added. You know. Oh yeah, all that. 
Um, yeah, there is the clone chamber. Uh, I'm pretty sure I went there more than once, but I don't know, maybe I loaded it at some point. Yep, all of that good stuff. Now then, I got all of the achievements, except obviously beat the game in New Game Plus. So I'll just show you here a little example of how it works. Bling, bling. Should be 19, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Yummy! And I think the uh, New Game Plus is also a gold token. So yeah, now you can use your tokens to unlock whatever you want. That's quite good, that is. I think that's a better way of doing it than it was before. It lets you choose what you want, rather than being like, oh damn it, I didn't get that one annoying achievement that I couldn't be bothered to get, so I can't enjoy the whatever. Also, some of you may remember there were plans to add sort of another big area in a thing called the Endo update, which is going to add the Endo reality. But I've decided I'm not going to do that, because I don't really use RPG Maker 2000 anymore, so I kind of want to move away from it, but maybe in future we'll, we'll see what other games come out of my RPG making stuff. So yeah, now that we've got a golden token to spare, Walk through walls, or teleport. That could be fun, couldn't it? Yes, it could. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. Again, if you'd like to pick up the uh, pick up Virus Bloke 2 now that this new new patch is released, feel free to click one of the links in the video description to get a free download. Um, obviously it's all completely safe, I check files and stuff before I upload them anywhere. Um, so yeah, it's free, it should work, if there's any bugs please let me know. But, you know, I've tested this now so it should all be fine. So I hope you enjoy, and I hope you have enjoyed. And thanks again for all the support with Virus Bloke 2. I think this should be the, the final thing I'll need to do with it. I never have to touch this game again. Oh, I'll miss you, Virus Bloke 2. I will miss you. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Oh, oh, oh no. Why would you do this music? <laughs>